I'm Matthew Chapman, and I'm going to do a demonstration of hydrogen peroxide on various organic substances. I have 99% hydrogen peroxide. Use extreme caution when handling 99% peroxide. It will cause very intense chemical burns. It can cause damage to your mucous membranes and blindness. It is rocket fuel, and it is one of the safer of the rocket fuels, but extreme caution should still be exercised. I have a stainless steel tray that we're going to do the reactions on. And then the first reaction I'm going to do is suede leather. Um, suede leather is tanned with chromic acid and lime. And the chromic acid acts as a catalyst, causing the hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, to decompose. And when it decomposes, it releases O1, or, or uh, free oxygen, free radical oxygen. And when that oxygen meets cellulose, or organic uh, substances, it causes them to oxidize and burn, and uh, the temperature rises, and eventually it catches fire. So I will do a demonstration of that reaction. Right now I'm cutting up some leather for it. We will start with just leather and a few drops of the hydrogen peroxide. The reaction takes a moment to run away. This is a runaway reaction, meaning as the heat rises, the reaction does too. And eventually, we will get our catalytic oxidation. And this is a rocket reaction. Next, we'll do basic cane sugar, reacting with the hydrogen peroxide. Again, use extreme caution. Now, on its own, reacting with peroxide, it's not very exciting. So, I'm going to entice it to react by using a catalyst. In this case, we will use the leather. And a few pieces of that on top of the sugar. And if you notice, there's a little bit of green in the remnant. That is the chromic acid that is pulled out of the leather. We put a few drops, or a lot, of the hydrogen peroxide on the sugar and leather. I haven't tried this reaction yet, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. No significant reaction. It's possible that the sugar dilutes it. So we'll move on to flour. And as everyone knows from Mythbusters and various science classes, when flour is mixed with air, it burns very, very, very fast and can create some very intense explosions. So we will use that to our advantage by combining it with a very well known rocket fuel. And hopefully, maybe, we'll transfer over to the sugar and we'll get a better reaction out of it. A few pieces of leather on the flour as the catalyst. And a few drops of peroxide.
Yeah. There's the sugar reactant. And there's the flour reactant. Notice how it's propagating through all of the fuel. And as you can see, the peroxide did move. That's still very, very, very volatile. So we'll utilize it. Put some leather on there. My heart is stick. And that'll react momentarily. Okay. And then last but not least. Oh actually we have two more. I wanna do rocket bread. Being that it is, oh, and we do have another small reaction there. That was just the leftover peroxide that came off the rocket flower. Okay, and then we're going to take a small piece of bread, put it on the plate, and I wear gloves because you get a terrible burn, and it's not worth it. Okay, so again, using the leather as the catalyst, place a couple pieces on there. seconds it should react. And notice how the bread is burning from the inside. 